You, he told you what to do. You went the opposite way. And now you're saying, I don't have any right to go to God. I've messed up. And the devil's telling you, this is not for you. Well, God is telling you, it is for you. Some became fools through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because of their iniquities. There are consequences to sin. There's consequences. But I tell you, that does not mean God is through with you. That does not mean God will not hear you when you cry to him. There's a reason this is in here. I need it. Thank God. So here's, here's the, co the kind of people he's talking about. And, and here they get in a condition where it says they loathed all food. Now, Brother Bob was talking about fasting, and he's exactly right. But here's a different way that people have come to a place where they don't eat. They're so draw, they're so beaten down by their circumstances, their situation, a sense of, I've messed up, I've gone too far. God doesn't want to hear me. I, I, I just wish I'd go ahead and die, get out of it all. I mean, you can reach that point. This is somebody who's in a deep place. They loathed all food and drew near the gates of death. You know, we just heard that God can reach beyond the gates of death. But here's somebody who's just, they've, they've really reached the end. They've, they're in despair. They, and they realize, I did it. I, and, and the devil's beating them on the head. You have no right to go to God. Look what you did. But listen to what it says. Then they cried. Who cried? The ones who were rebellious, the ones who got themselves in a mess. They cried to the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He saved them from their distress. That's who this is talking about. He sent his forth his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. And so the result is let them give thanks to the Lord for his what? unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy. That's what God wants to do for every one of us tonight. You haven't gone too far. You messed up. Yeah, there's sometimes there's consequences that we live with as a result of sin, but you can, you can know God. You can, you can come right back into a place where you can experience his love. There are no second-class citizens in the kingdom of God. Every one of us comes an unworthy sinner, and we're bathed in that love that we heard about tonight. Oh, may God help us to so receive his love that, as it's been said tonight, then we have a foundation for giving that kind of love. Why do we love others? Because he loved us. You know, my translation has it that way. It's both are true. We love him, we love others. In fact, God's love is completed when we express his love to others. God doesn't mean for it to stop with us. It means to, to, to reach us and then go out to others. But I just, I saw this, my, my mind, well, actually, I had this verse underlined, verse 17, so it wasn't hard for my eye to jump to that when, when Jim read that other scripture. But praise God. So if you feel like you're a fool tonight, if you feel like you've met, it's your own rebellious ways that got you where you're at, you still have hope. You call upon this God. He will hear your cry. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand up, if you would. Listen, if, if you want tonight to take advantage, that's a strange way of saying this, but if you want God to touch you tonight, whether it be for your body, whether it be for you've messed up and something's gone wrong and, you, and it's just too, too, you're too far down and God can't pull you up, yes, he can. I thank God for this hope that we have, the love of God. If you want to touch tonight, what I don't care what it is, physical, spiritual, family problems, kids, husband, wives, whatever, we're just going to give you an opportunity to come up here and just, just bask in this love that Brother uh, Bob, was it Bob, yes. mentioned. So let's sing a song. Alan, you got a song for us? All right. Praise the Lord.
is with you. He loves you. Praise the Lord. Praise his holy name. Jesus is here to meet you and hold you, love you. He loves you. Jesus loves you. Praise his holy name. Come, praise the Lord. Praise. Spread on out. Spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Make more room. Make more room. Come on. Spread it, spread it out a little more. Let's spread it out. been the Midnight Cry broadcast. If you would like a DVD or a CD of today's message in its entirety, please request it by program number. DVDs are $10 and CDs are $5. And for those who request it, we will send you our quarterly publication, The Midnight Cry Messenger, free and postage paid. Send your request to Midnight Cry Ministries, Post Office Box 685, Southern Pines, North Carolina, 28388. We invite you to join us again next week at the same time, and may God richly bless you until then.